Well, now I'm on the tricky part of the water tank. I left a slot here, so that'll be the, I don't know, the hole to look inside to make sure the water is whatever, whatever. And if I ever need to get inside, I can climb in through there. All right, now I need to take this form out and hopefully these sections that are overhanging won't cave in. I did put some fishing net on the top here and then, you know, smeared a bit of cement over it. There's a bit of fishing line there. So hopefully that'll keep this from collapsing. And here is my fiberglass cone that supposedly fits inside here. Well, hopefully. All right, one step at a time. Let's get this thing out. All right, I think to loosen this, if I knock on this end, it should be fine. So if I knock on that end, it might pull these over. Okay. Yeah. Oh, beauty! That looks pretty good. I wonder if I can fit through there, because I might need to get in to get this cone in there. Hey, looks like it fits right. So I need to cut a stick that will hold this thing up just under here, so about that much below where it is right now. So, hmm, yeah, cut this about there. I'd rather have it a little bit too long, because I can put it at a slant. I got it. Oh, I forgot to put something on this to make it so it would release from the concrete. Mm, oh, do I just leave it? It'd probably be fine. Let me think for a second. I do have a garbage bag. Maybe I'll just put a garbage bag, lay it over it. That'll cover most of it. Nah, yeah, that's good enough. This blue thing should come out pretty easily, I think. That's two buckets of concrete on there. It's kind of a lot of weight. I don't think I want to do any more yet. Because as this hardens, it'll support itself. So it won't be weighing it down anymore. Then I can do more. Looking good so far. Pretty sure the smart thing to do right now is to leave this till tomorrow. So that's what I'm gonna do. Even though I really, really wanna finish the roof. It's so close. Man, I've been getting great mangoes for weeks. Oh, delicious. Oh, cocoa plums too. Oh, come on. Yes. Oh, the kids are gonna be happy about that. You know, once in a while, I just have to stop and remind myself, this place is gorgeous.
this banana tree here I am quite excited about. It's only been here a few months and it started out like that when I put it here. And it is growing like gangbusters. Here, let me show you one that's been here for a year. Oh, see this sad little guy? It's been here for a year. Not really grown. I think I need to move it. Man, whatever's going on with the soil over here, I might need to make this my banana planting spot because I've tried lots of places around and this is by far the best results I'm getting. Oh man, good stuff. No coconuts lately, but it looks like I'm gonna have a lot soonish. Man, look at those nuts on that thing. a bag full of styrofoam bits. I made a styrofoam grinder a little while ago. And uh, let's see, <clears throat> two buckets full of styrofoam bits, uh, a little less than half a bucket of cement, and then maybe like three peanut butter jars of water, like a quarter, quarter bucket of water roughly. So hopefully this is some pretty good looking styrocrete. And I'm doing something of an experiment with it. Mmm, tasty. I don't have the best light in here. This is where I just put that uh, styrofoam stuff. So there's a wood frame on top of a curved metal thing. Uh, these were two earlier experiments and they're almost three feet by three feet I think 32 inches by 32 inches and after one day they were strong enough to pick up and move around and then over on this side this is a curved one it curves like that not a lot just enough for something that uh, I'm going to show you later and these things are surprisingly strong. Not sure what I'm going to do with these flat ones yet. They were just uh, yeah. experimental tests. But they are definitely good for something. Are you going to count my mangoes? How many do we get today? One, two. Uh, this is going to take a while. I got two buckets of concrete on the roof today and I think maybe one or two more. All right, got another one ready. Hey kid, what are you doing down there? Oh, just a little bit left. I'll mix up half a bucket and then I can make this whole area a little thicker too. It's only going to take like a fifth of a bucket to finish that though. Not even. You want me to cut that? Can you just wrap it around the side of the swing? Cool. What's the question? I think it must have fallen over and then just kept growing. I'm often asked how I learned to build so many things and uh, pretty much just like that this kid finds a rope and a board and made a swing and uh, yeah I did a lot of stuff like that when I was a kid. Did you just learn how to make a swing? You've made one before. I made two before. Mama's Island. Cool. 
one's Caucasian's and one's mine. And all it took two. Who taught you how to make that? Nobody. Boom. All right, try to hold the camera steady. Don't you go around. Did you have a question? How are you going to get um, the, your molding out of there? Isn't it going to be glued down to the con glued to the concrete? Well, I'm counting on being able to pull it off and then curl it up and pull it out of that hole. That's, that's what I'm hoping. Yeah, that hole's tiny though. You have to curl it up really small. Hey, I fit through that hole. You want to see? <laughs> <laughs> that's going to what? The concrete, I think it's good. Because it's a pretty even thickness the whole way, and if I keep messing with it, I might make one spot thinner in there. Alright, that's good. Hey, we have some left leftover concrete. What do you want to make? That likes needs a hot. Let's put a little lip around the edge here. So it'll have some water collection capacity until I set up the actual thing, which might not be for a while. Alright, another day of good mangoes. Okay. Did we get enough mangoes yet? Oh, we brought a big fat calzone today. That was a good plan. We've got a tile that almost fits this hole. With a bit of luck, I can knock off these two corners. Get it to fit in there a little bit better. And then I'll go over it with some, some uh, concrete to make it fit for real. Too much. Arr! I think we'd be able to Yeah. Now is the tile part of the lid or is it not part of the lid? Because it will stick to the concrete. Maybe I'll maybe I'll just go with uniform material. Make it not part of the lid, it'll just be the form for this. And then I'll put concrete on here. Let's put some fishing net in there for reinforcement. Oh, come on, fishing net. This stuff is such a pain. Cooperate! Or whatever, don't cooperate, it's fine. Oh, beauty. Yeah. Well, I think that's it. Water tank complete. Well, I still have to pull the mold part out of the middle. But presuming it comes out all right, it's done. Uh, I just have to do the piping. So attach a pipe down here, wherever, with a little thing. And then that'll be the, the in for whatever roof collects the water. Right now, it's just collecting water off itself, which will be fine for a while. And I'm uh, hoping that the water that runs down this little channel will be able to sneak in under the lid. There should be enough space for water to get through there, to seep in. <laughs> 